Thank you very much, Graciela, for uh, uh, your help in uh, um, welcoming guests. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, dear friends of road safety, my name is uh, Antonio Venoso. I'm the executive director here at uh, EDSC, the uh, European Transport Safety Council. Um, I would like to warmly welcome you to the EDSC's Road Safety Performance Index Award Ceremony 2020. And as you probably know, we've been running this ceremony every single year since uh, 2006, since June 2006. Uh, you cannot imagine how sad we are not to be able to meet you in person today in Brussels. Uh, however, the uh, COVID-19 pandemic gave us really no choice and uh, we have to live with what we have and only meet you online. I would like to extend my particular warm welcome to Minister Tavi As, to Professor Herman De Croo, Minister of State and President of EDSC. Uh, Professor De Croo has uh, asked me to warm, well, warmly welcome all of you to this uh, um, webinar. Uh, we will soon be joined by um, Commissioner Adina Joanna Balian uh, in uh, a few minutes. Um, some uh, Housekeeping before uh, uh, we start. Uh, we have uh, more than uh, 250 registrations. Uh, microphones will therefore uh, be muted to guarantee a smooth running of the webinar. If you want to ask a question, of course you can, but please use the Q&A button on the Zoom control panel. Um, please also note, as Graciela just said, that uh, uh, the webinar will be recorded. Uh, you already know this if you uh, read carefully the uh, registration form, but as uh, uh, my uh, Latin professor used to tell us, repetita juvent. Uh, let me now move on to uh, the uh, first point on uh, today's agenda, uh, which is the presentation of uh, um, ETSC's 14 uh, PIN annual report, ranking uh, EU progress on uh, road safety. Um, uh, before starting that, I would, uh, however, uh, um, like to warmly uh, thank our uh, partners in uh, the PIN program, those uh, without whom uh, all of the activity we run would not be possible. Namely, the DDR, the German Road Safety Council, Toyota Motor Europe, uh, the Swedish Transport Administration, the Norwegian Public Roads Administration and uh, uh, CETA. A few words about the uh, PIN project. It's a project which uh, we started back in uh, 2006 as a way of uh, monitoring road safety performance uh, in uh, the European Union and uh, beyond. Uh, the project uh, includes all member states of uh, the um, European Union and five more countries. And um, we have uh, a steering group that is uh, uh, um, guaranteeing uh, uh, um, scientific rigor to the um, exercise, a strong project team in uh, the Secretariat. Uh, so far we have uh, uh, published uh, uh, 39 PIN reports. This is uh, the main figure that comes out from uh, the report we are launching today. 22,660 people lost their life in a road traffic collision in the EU in 2019. I think I need to add no more. Uh, the figure speaks for uh, itself. What's the progress uh, in uh, uh, the PIN countries between 2018 and uh, uh, 2019? Well, uh, uh, a bit disappointing. Uh, in the EU 27, we only had uh, a 3% average decrease. Um, Luxembourg, uh, Sweden and Estonia had been, uh, have been making uh, um, good progress in uh, uh, the last year. Uh, on the other hand, we had uh, um, increases in uh, uh, Slovenia, in Denmark, in uh, Israel. Overall, 16 of uh, uh, the PIN countries reduced the number of road deaths in uh, 2019, four have uh, stagnated and 12, so an increase. Let me now take a look at uh, a longer perspective uh, between uh, 2010 
and uh, uh, 2019, which is uh, the target period of uh, halving the number of road deaths. Um, Norway is uh, uh, the best uh, performing PIM country with a 49% reduction. Um, and then if you look at uh, the EU countries, well, uh, uh, very good results from uh, Estonia, Greece, Latvia, Lithuania, and Portugal. Uh, these are the countries that have reduced uh, road deaths the most since 2010. At the other side of the spectrum, we have uh, Malta, the Netherlands and the UK, where road deaths were higher in 2019 than uh, in 2010. And uh, also surprisingly, Germany, Denmark, Sweden are all near the bottom of the pack. As you can see from uh, uh, these two curves, uh, the dotted one, which shows uh, how we should be doing if uh, we were to achieve the target in 2020, and uh, the solid line, which uh, shows how we are actually doing after an encouraging start in the decade, the curve has uh, flattened, which means that uh, regrettably, the EU is almost certain to miss the 2020 target. As a matter of fact, meeting the target would require an uh, unprecedented 34.5% reduction between uh, now and 2020. Certainly, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic may bring some big reductions in the next year, but these are unlikely to be enough. And in any case, they are hardly a sustainable approach. This is not the kind of reduction that we would like to see, not for the good reason. Let me now move on to um, road mortality in uh, uh, the PIN countries, that is uh, the number of deaths per million population. Norway remains uh, the leader with uh, um, 20 road deaths per million population and Sweden and Switzerland in dark green uh, also have uh, fewer than uh, 22 deaths per million population. The EU average is 51 and again uh, you can notice a factor of four uh, that is the difference uh, between the highest and uh, the lowest risk countries in uh, the European Union. Few words about injuries. Uh, according to the data published by the European Commission uh, on the 11th of June, uh, 120,000 people were seriously injured in the EU in uh, 2019. What about policy development? Well, uh, since last time we've met in uh, uh, June 2019, there have been some important developments. Uh, last year, we already had the strategic action plan on road safety. We already had the targets to reduce by half by 2030 road deaths and for the first time serious injuries. Now we can also uh, uh, be happy to have two new pieces of legislation which were approved uh, at the end of 2019. First, the general safety regulation and the infrastructure safety management directive. The general safety regulation uh, from uh, December 2019 uh, has a potential once in its uh, full implementation to save in the 15 years between 2022 and 2037 25,000 deaths and uh, 140,000 severe injuries. When it comes to the Infrastructure Safety Directive, uh, life saving potential is uh, uh, smaller but not negligible, very important. 3,200 deaths and uh, uh, 20,700 severe injuries uh, could be prevented by this piece of legislation in the period 2020-2030. Um, we regretted last year that these two pieces of legislation were adopted quite uh, late in the mandate of the European Commission. Therefore, we hope that uh, the new Commission will start with uh, uh, um, 
new measures with uh, um, new uh, uh, pieces of legislation so that we can reap the benefits of this action as soon as possible. We're thinking here about the planned revision of the driving license directive, the cross-border enforcement directive, as well as the new transport white paper and the new sustainable and uh, smart mobility uh, strategy. Very important to mention that uh, whereas the European Union has a big role to play when it comes to road safety, an equally important role needs to be assigned to member states. If we are to reach the death target and the serious injury target in 2030, well, we need to assign responsibility. We need member states also to take responsibility, which now brings me to uh, the uh, EDSC's been award. As you know, we've been since 2006 giving an award every year, almost every year, to a country that has uh, distinguished itself particularly in uh, uh, road safety action. And when it comes to the road safety pin award 2020, the winner is Estonia. Please join me, even though I'm afraid only from behind your desk in uh, uh, congratulating Estonia for uh, this important achievement. Why Estonia? Well, these are some of the reasons that have uh, led the PIN steering group to award Estonia in 2020. First and foremost, the very good reduction in the number of road deaths between 2010 and 2019, minus 34% compared to a 24% reduction for the European Union. Mortality. Number of deaths per million population now in Estonia are 39. Estonia is now in terms of mortality as safe as the Netherlands. The EU average, as we've seen before, is uh, 51. In terms of uh, general road safety policy and measures, well, uh, the steering group wanted to recognize the national road safety strategy, the strong leadership from uh, the Estonian road administration, the strong coordination and collaboration between the various actors that are responsible for road safety in the country. And uh, when we look at specific measures, the high levels of dream driving enforcement and the substantial improvements to the safety of the most vulnerable road users, pedestrians and cyclists. Of course, in this slide, I've only listed the positive aspects. We should always remember and be reminded that there is no room for complacency and that with the award comes a lot of responsibility. So the award that we are giving to Estonia is not only a recognition of the great work that has been done so far, but also a strong encouragement to continue with the road safety work and uh, uh, leadership. I am now inviting to this virtual panel, Mr. Tavi As, who is the Minister for Economic Affairs and uh, Infrastructure of Estonia to receive the award. Dear Minister, please join me on this virtual panel. Hello, hello. Hello, thank you. Well, congratulations, dear Minister. This is the award for uh, uh, the PIN uh, uh, achievements and achievements in uh, road safety. We are now trying something magic and uh, the PIN award will move from Brussels to Tallinn in the blink of an eye. Please, dear Minister, receive the award. Thank you. Congratulations, dear Minister, and uh, uh, I will now uh, leave the floor to you for uh, uh, a presentation on uh, the Estonian achievements in road safety. And uh, uh, for all the participants, please remember the possibility to ask uh, questions to the Minister through the Q&A button on the Zoom control panel. Dear Minister, the floor is yours. Thank you. Dear Commissioner Valerian, dear Mr. Avenoso, dear audience. I would like to express my gratitude 
voted on behalf of the state of Estonia for assigning the road safety award of the European Technical and Scientific Centre this year. National uh, under, uh, undertakings are of uh, paramount importance to uh, creating a safe, efficient and socially accountable road transport sector. Road deaths are preventable therefore not acceptable. I would like to thank all the institutions and especially the road administration and the police who contribute to road safety with acknowledged commitment and open mind. I would like to thank every one of you, both as a minister and as a fellow citizen. Let me start with a short presentation about uh, the Estonian road safety policy. This will also be uh, the occasion to share our principles of good practice with you. Uh, please take uh, a look at the first slide. You can see that uh, since uh, 2010, the number of serious road accidents in Estonia remains stable. There was a slight increase uh, in the numbers of road injuries at the beginning of 2010, but we can also notice a remarkable uh, decrease of uh, fatalities. In 2019, we had about uh, 1,800 injuries and 67 fatalities in our roads. Compared to 2019, there were uh, 52 fatalities and about uh, 1,700 injuries in 2019. Next slide, please. During uh, the last 10 years, the distance traveled by the vehicles increased, which means a greater exposure to road risk and to need to have an efficient road safety policy. Next slide, please. We have a uh, fixed amb uh, ambitions, but the necessary road safety national level goals in our strategic program. The main strategic document is the road safety program that fixed goals for the period from 2016 to 2025. The strategic goals uh, is by, by the end of 2025, uh, less than 40 fatalities uh, and not more than uh, 330 seriously injuries. Next slide, please. Implementation uh, regards, regards uh, consideration of the context, strategies and capacity. It does uh, so be three main measures. The first measure is the sustain, uh, sustainable road safety management system, which is mainly based in a Vision Zero program and shared responsibility approach. According to them, no less uh, of life is acceptable. We follow the targets set uh, uh, out by ambitious road safety plans to reach zero road deaths by uh, 2050. Our management system is also built uh, an, on a system approach, uh, uh, knowledge-based decision-making process, mainly composed of uh, actions with uh, significant, uh, significant uh, scientific confirmed effects. The second measure is uh, creating a responsible risk uh, 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 perspective road users. Uh, when talking about this, we mean in implementing uh, extensive measures to prevent speeding and alcohol um, abuse in traffic such as traffic speed cameras and high number of alcohol breeding tests. In 2019, there were uh, on average more than a thousand alcohol checks per thousand others. And thirdly, it's important to create a safe infrastructure uh, to enable the safer road system. In Estonia, we built two plus one roads. I would also like to mention the proactive black spot management system based on a scientific uh, approved road accident risk uh, assessment. Now I would like to present the, the concrete examples of measures that helped us to reach go, uh, good road safety results. In 2019, police started to use mobile speed cameras for speed 
enforcement both in the rural and urban areas. As for other, uh, other road infrastructure, the red light violation detection in Thailand have played an important role, as well as variable speed limit uh, since, since on uh, E67 uh, roads. Uh, during the last two years, we investigate in in depth uh, all fatal accidents to analyze the reasons that lead to the fatal uh, accidents. We have installed installed obligatory survey cameras at uh, all the road partners test uh, conducting partner stations. Along with, uh, along with the goals and uh, approaches set, the sufficient and cost efficient investments in the safe traffic environment are the fundamental importance. It is necessary to provide uh, uh, sufficient road infrastructure investments in the face of growing demands and costs. We provide funding for, uh, in four large municipalities. We have implemented government grants to increase the safety of uh, vulnerable road users in Thailand, Tartu, Narva, and Pern, our biggest cities. As, uh, some bigger municipalities, as our capital, Thailand, have adopted the Sustainable Urban Mobility Plan 2035 for Thailand and suburbs that have a general overview of urban mobility and new approach to road safety topic. There is also a part of a series of innovative te techniques I may, uh, made to decrease the road accidents. We also have uh, this called timeout break possibility. For example, police are offering drivers to choice between 40, uh, 45 or 60 minute break after uh, rather than the fine. Please, next slide. Finally, I will take uh, talk about the main challenges that uh, we are faced to heat. We need to address all factors that play the role in crashes. First of all, we need a new safe speed limit concept for our state road network to create a strong incentive to drive within, uh, within the law. Uh, in addition to this, it's also important to de 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 develop uh, uh, the merit point system concept that uh, allocates penalty points for a range of uh, driving offenses. Uh, the shame is the decision to uh, encourage safe and responsibility driving and the legal act will be ready by the end of this summer. A paradigm shift, uh, traffic speed sharing is another future measure we need to implement as a sustainable mobility and model sp uh, split help to change the world's uh, health and eco ecologically friendly means of transport. It goes along with European Union strategies that aim to provide sustainable mobility in Europe, which is safe, clean and connected. Next slide. At uh, this point, I would like to finish my, uh, by saying that every traffic uh, death or serious injury can be prevented, and it depends on us. Thank you. Uh, thank you again, and thank you for, uh, for your attention. And now I'm ready for a question. Thank you very much, dear uh, Minister. We um, indeed have received uh, uh, many questions. Uh, uh, bear with me while I read one to you that I've uh, received on screen. Um, so, uh, dear Minister, do you think the COVID-19 pandemic will lead to positive effects for mobility in Estonia? For example, larger numbers of walking or cycling. What will the government do to encourage such developments? Uh, thank you. On the, uh, on the one hand, it's a good opportunity, uh, especially for the local municipalities, to promote sustainable traffic modes among the citizens. On the other hand, this is a challenge for the majority of municipalities to make walking and uh, cycling safer. We will uh, encourage local authorities to work on sustainable urban mobility policies analyzes the speed limits, implement traffic uh, calming measures and could improve the infrastructure uh, facilities for a safe cycling and walking. Uh, besides, uh, besides, we will continue to improve the safest mode of the transport. 
this is public transport. Thank you very much. And uh, um, I have two more. I will start with the first one. Uh, dear Minister, um, if you could choose just one action that has made the biggest difference on road safety in Estonia, what would it be? Just one. Just one. Thank you. Providing all road users groups with a safe, uh, forgiving and self-explaining uh, uh, infrastructure solutions could uh, ensure better road safety, and this is still in area of uh, improvement in uh, Estonia. Requirements set for a planning uh, roads have to be in compliance with the concept of the modern safe system, like Vision Zero and Principle of Sustainable Safety. Thank you very much. Now, uh, oh yes. Um, Estonia has made good progress. Well, you partly addressed it, but uh, uh, let me ask it again. Estonia has made good progress. How are you going to ensure that you maintain this progress and keep numbers falling? Uh, thank you. We should not only maintain the pro uh, progress, but we should improve future. Following the shared responsibility principle, we must implement uh, uh, further road safety and mobility strategic policies that are uh, a good framework for the joint actions for better road safety. At the same time, we shall be able to assess the effect of uh, interventions and make evidence-based decisions. As I said before in the presentations, we will keep working on main challenges to tackle road accidents we face actually and search uh, for a new innovative approaches as time outbreak demerit system and etc thank you thank you thank you very much um, maybe a very last one um, uh, yes i mean what would you recommend to other countries uh, uh, because certainly estonia has made a great uh, um, well, great progress, different measures, different activities. So if there was something that you would want to suggest to another country where to start from, what would you, uh, what would you do? Uh, I think, uh, I think it's, it's, it's very important to understand uh, what are the reasons of, uh, of the accidents. Uh, and uh, then started uh, to work with this uh, this uh, reasons okay thank you very much dear uh, minister so um, congratulations again uh, i would ask you uh, please uh, not to um, leave the zoom uh, because uh, at the end after the speech from uh, the european commissioner we will aim to uh, um, take a group photo in the meantime uh, well congratulations again we can see now that uh, uh, the award is on uh, your desk already. We hope that uh, uh, it will be there for the rest of the year and uh, of the decade as a reminder of the good work that has been done, but also of uh, uh, the uh, great expectations that are now on uh, uh, Estonia for uh, um, what needs to be done. Thank you very much. Uh, now, uh, we are uh, slightly uh, ahead uh, uh, of schedule uh, because uh, um, the um, commissioner uh, was uh, uh, um, supposed to arrive uh, for um, 11 uh, um, 35 she will be there uh, very soon uh, actually she's uh, um, coming back from the college meeting so this is for us also an opportunity to thank her for uh, having uh, had the opportunity and the possibility to uh, uh, join the um, ETSC event notwithstanding uh, um, her very busy agenda uh, this is uh, uh, in a way fortunate because uh, it also allows me to uh, um, thank all those who are behind the uh, PIN project and uh, uh, those without whom uh, these uh, documents, uh, the award, the conferences would certainly not be possible. I mentioned briefly before in uh, uh, my um, presentation the fact that uh, uh, PIN has uh, um, 32 um, countries. These are the uh, 27 member states of the European Union, but also uh, the um, UK, uh, Switzerland, Norway, Serbia, and uh, uh, Israel. Well, of course, data do not come on their own from these countries. We uh, first have to uh, acknowledge the um, great help of the Road Safety Unit of the European Commission in uh, uh, providing uh, uh, first data, but then these are integrated, supplemented, uh, checked by uh, 
each of the PIN uh, panelists. Uh, the panelist is uh, a well-placed uh, expert in uh, uh, each of, uh, of the member states uh, and uh, uh, it's uh, thanks to them that the PIN can be successful. We do rely on them in uh, um, making sure that uh, uh, we have uh, reliable information and uh, uh, reliable uh, uh, data. Um, then, uh, um, apart from uh, the panelists, I mentioned before the uh, PIN steering group. The PIN steering group, uh, which is uh, uh, chaired, co-chaired by uh, uh, Heather Ward uh, from uh, um, uh, um, the UK and uh, uh, Hank Stipton from uh, the Netherlands, uh, and uh, uh, we have uh, uh, Professor Richard Olsop, uh, a former chair of the uh, uh, steering group and a member of the ATSC board of directors as a, a special advisor to the steering group. The steering group brings together all the experts from uh, uh, the, uh, um, the, the, the from the uh, ATSC uh, partners in the PIN project, as well as uh, independent experts uh, from all around Europe and the um, European uh, um, Commission. Also, a um, Big thank needs to be um, given to uh, my colleagues in uh, uh, um, in uh, uh, in the secretariat here uh, in uh, in Brussels, uh, Dobile Adminaide and Jamie Carson, who are uh, behind uh, uh, all of the activity you see, all uh, the data, all of the uh, publications, and uh, uh, the events that uh, uh, we organize uh, in uh, uh, in. Uh, um, the various countries of uh, the uh, European uh, um, of the European Union. Um, having said that, uh, let me also uh, use the remaining uh, one minute or so that I have uh, uh, before the um, Commissioner joins to remind you that. Uh, um, you will be able to find uh, uh, the uh, results of uh, uh, this year's uh, uh, PIN annual report on the ATSC website together with the press release. And this is probably the occasion also to look at previous reports which we published. As I said before, we have 39 uh, uh, so far. And uh, uh, the latest one is uh, uh, particularly relevant is on heavy goods vehicles and uh, on uh, uh, light goods vehicles. And I say particularly relevant because, you know, during in, uh, the uh, pandemic, uh, um, certainly uh, something that has not stopped in uh, uh, um, at borders was uh, uh, goods. Goods continued flowing, and. Uh, um, this is also in a period in which uh, uh, necessarily some of the legislation on uh, uh, driving hours on technical inspections had to be uh, uh, relaxed. Uh, um, the uh, report uh, um, paints uh, a very good picture about the um, situation in uh, heavy goods vehicles and light goods vehicles. It's relatively recent. It is uh, actually been uh, published in uh, uh, May uh, 2020, so uh, the, uh, uh, um, something that uh, uh, you can uh, uh, look at uh, uh, um, as soon as uh, uh, you can on the ETSC uh, website. Uh, uh, I see on screen now um, that uh, um, the uh, commissioner has uh, uh, joined us and uh, it is indeed my uh, great uh, pleasure to uh, welcome to uh, this uh, uh, webinar uh, um, the, um, the Commissioner, um, uh, European Commissioner for Transport, Adina Joanna Valean. Uh, Commissioner, thank you very much for uh, uh, finding uh, time uh, in uh, your extremely uh, busy schedule. We've just uh, uh, given uh, an award to Estonia for uh, the sustained uh, road safety uh, activities uh, uh, during the years. Now uh, the floor is uh, yours for uh, you to uh, update uh, the participants to this webinar on uh, the road safety actions of the uh, European um, Commission. Please. Um, hello everyone, um, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm glad that uh, you found, found a way to move this event online. Uh, and of course, I'm very glad and honored to be part of it. Uh, I think as all of us, I'm looking forward uh, for a day we can uh, uh, meet in person again 
but in the meantime, it's important that we use all the available tools um, to keep communicating, and in this case, to keep recognizing those who deserve um, it. Um, first of all, I would like to congratulate uh, Estonia and Mr. Tavi As. Um, you certainly deserve the recognition. Uh, Estonia's figures are are um, impressive, a 60% reduction in road deaths between 20, uh, 2001 and 2010, and a further 34% uh, reduction over the last decade. Uh, this is a much faster rate uh, than um, the EU average. Um, we have heard a lot about the measures uh, that contributed to the success, but I'd like to pick up, uh, pick out three that I find particularly important uh, and that I think uh, can serve to inspire others. First, it's the shared responsibility. Um, since Estonia has one strong uh, lead authority, the Estonian Roads Administration, responsible for coordinating, monitoring and reporting on uh, the safety program, but the responsibility for implementation is shared among uh, uh, stakeholders, giving an example um, for um, how a strong role can have the local authorities. I'm also impressed by the best practice seminars organized um, annually for local authorities. There are no quick wins um, for road safety anymore. Real and lasting improvements uh, are only won through coordination between different levels uh, of governance. Uh, secondly, the crash investigation. Uh, policy making needs to be based on evidence, something that uh, uh, you have understood and embraced with, its, uh, with your systemic um, in-depth crash investigations uh, into serious collisions. Uh, the very close liaison between the lead authority and the police on road crash data quality is also impressive. I hope other countries will look at this uh, closely. Data will also play a big role in the smart and sustainable um, uh, transport strategy that we will pu uh, publish um, before the end of the year. Um, um, and I'm interested in exploring a better use of data for um, road safety at European uh, level. Uh, thirdly, the innovation. We all know that Estonia does all things uh, digital very well. Uh, but let me also highlight a relative low-tech innovation, which is the timeout initiative launched by the police and the Estonian Roads Associate Administration uh, that uh, has uh, seen uh, impressive results. Um, uh, and I think uh, this is a, a very good uh, inspirational uh, soft measure um, for other countries to follow. Um, I said in... Uh, I said from the beginning of my mandate that I would make uh, road safety a priority during uh, uh, the time I'll be in office. Um, I firmly believe in our ambitious uh, goal of zero deaths and serious injuries uh, by 2050. But if we are to get to zero by 2050, um, we need to maintain and deliver on our intermediate uh, targets, 50% uh, fewer deaths and uh, serious injuries by 2030. Uh, we have the strategic action plan for road safety and many of the actions are already well underway, uh, such as the new key performance indicators. Um, I would also like to pursue some new actions, such as uh, making um, enforcement of traffic offenses across border more effective, uh, then uh, to look at the driving licenses, um, in particular, we are evaluating the driving license um, directive and based on what we uh, have seen um, so far, it's very likely that we will propose a revision. I know that expectations are high uh, because future, future cars will uh, require different skills uh, from drivers, meaning uh, we need to look at uh, digitalization. Uh, regarding the funding support, uh, negotiations for the EU budget between uh, uh, 21 and 27 are currently ongoing. Uh, so it's uh, hard to give uh, right now the figures. Uh, however, I want to make sure that road safety um, 
not only received its fair share uh, funding, but that we target funding well and align it closely uh, with our road safety policy objectives. Um, regarding a smart and sustainable transport, um, road safety will play an important role in our forthcoming um, strategy. For example, on data, uh, we are looking into the options to take a crash investigation to the European level and for access to um, in, in vehicle data. For sustainability, one option is to look at uh, emissions um, testing as part of uh, roadworthiness tests. Um, we also take a close look at alcohol and speed. Both play a major role in serious crashes. Both are primarily regulated at national level, but I'm ready to have an open discussion about how to manage them more effectively as uh, this uh, may be the quickest uh, uh, way to reduce casualties. Uh, in all of this, I want to, uh, to be in a constant dialogue with uh, you, um, our friends in the road safety community, um, but I also want to extend the conversation to include others such as health authorities and businesses that operate, uh, for example, fleets of vehicles. There are a number of ideas in our strategic uh, action plan and the EU road safety coordinator, uh, Matthew Baldwin, whom you all know well, will carry on uh, bringing all these conversations uh, together. Uh, while concentrating on the EU actions, of course, we will also continue our work on strengthening international cooperation um, at global level. Many of you were at the global uh, ministerial conference on road safety in uh, Stockholm, like me. I was proud to represent the European Union in the opening session, which reflected the leadership we have uh, brought to global road safety. Uh, I was impressed with the motivation, uh, the resolve and the, the ambition uh, of the road safety community. We should maintain this resolve and emerge with a stronger agenda for road safety for the coming dec uh, decade. Last week, we announced our statistics for uh, 2019. We can definitely see success stories within them. Uh, we had uh, 7,000 fewer fatalities uh, than in uh, 2010, for example, which would be a decrease of uh, 23%. Uh, um, eight countries also recorded their best ever results, and um, European roads continue to be the safest in the world. Uh, but the progress has slowed. Uh, for the EU as a whole, the figures are close to stagnation. Um, and they have been now for several years. So we clearly uh, missed our uh, target of 50% uh, reduction this decade by the end of 2020. Um, so we need to do more. Uh, there is, uh, this needs reflection and huge efforts um, to, to, to bring these uh, uh, figures, uh, uh, the figures we found uh, further down. Anyway, I work, uh, I'm looking forward to work closely with you and I count on you all for the support. Thank you very much for having me at this uh, event of yours. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, dear um, Commissioner, for your uh, speech and for uh, um, your renewed uh, motivation uh, uh, to uh, work for uh, road safety in, uh, um, in the future. Um, if you don't mind, I have, uh, uh, obviously, you can imagine uh, the Commissioner speaks, we receive lots of questions uh, on uh, uh, the, um, the Q&A. Um, one, uh, well, it's a, it's, a bit, it's a bit long, but uh, I'll try and, uh, and sum up. Um, certainly, uh, during the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, we have uh, um, heard uh, everybody saying, yes, we look forward to going back to normal life. We really want normality. Where is our normality? Uh, well, the question is, uh, what is uh, normality? Because uh, actually, the, um, uh, the, the, the COVID crisis could be uh, um, uh, certainly an opportunity 
uh, getting out of the crisis could be an opportunity to uh, have uh, a dramatic shift, for example, in walking and cycling in urban areas, uh, better infrastructure, we've seen this in uh, many cities, lower speed limits. These are all uh, things that uh, uh, could have a massive impact on uh, road death and, uh, uh, and injury. So um, certainly, uh, I, I believe you agree that uh, a new normality would be much better with uh, uh, the vulnerable road users most uh, uh, protected. So the question uh, after this uh, long introduction uh, um, that we have received would be, what is the EC, the European Commission, doing to um, encourage uh, learning uh, the positive lessons from this tragic pandemic for uh, the benefit of road safety? Well, um, I don't think uh, the crisis is a normal thing. Um, so, of course, we are looking forward to move ahead and uh, exit from this crisis in a positive way. Uh, we have proposed and we are saying that our exit strategy from this crisis should, should be an exit looking towards the future. So, whenever uh, we will support investments for the future, this has to be, this have to be um, sustainable investment in the future. So it's no uh, need to look uh, to the past, we have to look uh, to the future. Now, um, during the lockdown, of course, there were huge uh, decreases in traffic uh, and in many cases, decreases in road, road fatalities, although not in all the member states to the same extent. Um, for April, we have an evaluation saying, um, uh, we estimate a 50% uh, fatality reduction uh, across Europe. Uh, but now with uh, the exiting of the crisis, with the use uh, of the roads for um, uh, personal um, transportation, and let's keep in mind that this, the personal car remains um, a safe way to move around during the uh, corona crisis as long as you don't have a vaccine or a competitive treatment, um, people um, would feel safe to take their car. So we'll have, we'll see more and more increase in traffic. And uh, let's hope this won't translate uh, necessarily into increase of numbers of um, uh, fatalities. Um, so um, we have seen also that a lot of people are more and more uh, cycling and walking. This is in urban areas. And uh, many cities have uh, reacted uh, creatively, creatively um, with pop-up bike lanes, for example, or lowering uh, the speed limits, for example, to protect vulnerable uh, road users. And this is much welcome and appreciated. Um, so this situation is like a real life test bed. We need to use it uh, as well as we can. We are learning a lot from different countries um, in, uh, regarding their data and experiences. And we would like to work uh, with member states and of course with partners like uh, you uh, to ensure that road safety is in a better shape when we come out of, uh, mm. of the crisis. Um, I'm sure that cities are drawing themselves uh, lessons from um, the experience of uh, this crisis, from the temporary measures, and uh, will consider them in longer term perspective. I know that uh, there are countries um, asking when I, my last conversation with the ministers for transportation, I saw uh, um, a reaffirmed interest in uh, the Commission to act on urban mobility, and I think road safety in urban areas, it's part of the urban uh, mobility. So um, there is a lot of interest and um, this urban mobility strategy will be part of our strategy, which will be presented before the end of the year. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we actually, uh, uh, well, no surprise, getting flooded with uh, uh, loads of good questions. Uh, I know your time is precious, so I will need to make a good selection and I've got a great responsibility. Uh, we've seen uh, that uh, uh, there are uh, um, certainly, there is a factor of four between the best performing countries and the worst countries. Uh, do you have, uh, uh, um, how will you do to reduce uh, imbalances between the 
the best and the worst performing countries. Uh, uh, for example, uh, um, well, uh, um, Romania, Bulgaria uh, are still at the bottom of the league. So uh, what can we do to make sure that uh, uh, there is this uh, learning from one another and uh, uh, um, well, making sure that uh, wherever we travel in uh, the European Union, we have uh, the right as citizens uh, to the same level of uh, high uh, road safety. I think um, the fact that the countries are associated for, to work together to exchange best practices and the, since you mentioned my country, which is Romania, which is doing so poorly. Um, uh, the fact that it's associated and working in, uh, in this working group with Spain and Ireland, two countries which uh, had uh, performed very well, uh, it will help. Uh, I also believe that um, we need to look more in depth at the details, what is exactly wrong in uh, the countries performing um, low and advice on that. I know the case of my country and I would say that everything is going wrong. Also, uh, the infrastructure, um, the uh, how you apply um, uh, measures um, um, not to intersect the the users. You have no protection for vulnerable users. You have in urban areas, you don't have a good infrastructure for cycling. So um, all the risk factors are there. So there is a lot for them to be done, and I think. Uh, uh, the countries will come up with uh, their strategies for the next uh, period um, and an action plan. And we have to look in, into this and uh, then monitor all the time to see how it goes. Uh, I'm also thinking of focusing in detail on um, specific countries to, to see what is wrong. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, actually, also for mentioning the road safety exchange program. I'm, I'm afraid I don't resist. I need to mention it because you did it as well. Uh, and uh, it, it, looked like, uh, uh, it looks like pre-cooked, but it's not. Uh, in answering the question to our, from our colleagues, you, you mentioned the exchange between uh, uh, Romania and uh, uh, the other countries. Well, this is uh, uh, part of the EU road safety exchange uh, program, uh, a program which is uh, funded by the Parliament and, and run by the European uh, uh, commission with some help also from uh, uh, the European Transport Safety Council and indeed we are uh, making sure that uh, uh, countries talk to one another and uh, 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 can exchange as much as possible uh, of best practice so that they, they can uh, uh, apply working uh, uh, um, uh, methods and measures also uh, in uh, their countries. So, um, if uh, I may, I, I'm, uh, I have uh, uh, one last question for you. Uh, it comes from the office of the uh, Ombudsman for Children in uh, uh, Croatia. And uh, uh, um, thank you, uh, dear Commissioner, for uh, uh, your activities and for prioritizing road safety. Uh, can you please also uh, briefly mention the importance of uh, uh, doing road safety for uh, uh, vulnerable road users and especially children? Yes, it's, um, uh, I think I, I touched it very um, uh, shortly, but it is true that one of the issues for the road safety is how we deal with vulnerable users. Of course, children among pedestrians are um, should be on the focus both from um, as a uh, target group for education programs because we have to understand from um, early age how we should behave uh, while uh, being mobile and now also the children are um, um, a target group for new ways of mobility inside the cities if we think at uh, electric uh, new gadgets um, so we are also thinking at how to um, uh, put some safety uh, requirements for these uh, new ways of uh, mobility in cities. So uh, this would be helpful for children uh, or young uh, people. Uh, then, as I said, in urban mobility, we have to uh, make sure that um, the paths of various groups using um, infrastructure are not crossing in a way which is unsafe. So all this uh, are part of our strategy, as you know very well. And of course, we'll uh, keep a focus on the most vulnerable uh, users of um, uh, pathways in, uh, in a city.
Thank you. And uh, uh, well, this is not a question. I, I have a comment. Uh, 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 we, uh, um, yes, you recognized the uh, challenging situation for uh, uh, your own country, uh, Romania, when it comes to the position in uh, uh, the uh, mortality uh, figures. Uh, something positive to mention about Romania as well, uh, and uh, I was reminded uh, uh, by one of the participants, the great work that uh, has been done in Romania in uh, uh, emergency services, and uh, uh, this has actually been uh, uh, taken also by ETSC as best practice for other countries and uh, um, so um, probably uh, this comment from our participant is to reiterate that uh, uh, whatever the starting point, whatever the situation, we all have uh, uh, to learn from one another and uh, um, so we do hope that when it comes to the emergency um, service also other countries can learn from uh, uh, Romania. Uh, so, uh, that is thank true. You. Thank that you. is true, I know for uh, so many years we are a leading expert in uh, providing uh, emergency services and I know uh, for a fact also from my experience in the European Parliament that we are recognized as such and even now in crisis times I know that uh, uh, ideas put it forward and supported by Romania in terms of uh, I don't know the um, um, the programs for um, um, uh, equipment and um, yes all this so, so I know we are doing well in um, emergency services but I think we should focus more in preventing um, um, big uh, events uh, crashing yeah. or uh, yeah well, thank you very much for uh, uh, not only for your presence, for your speech and for uh, your availability to ask questions. Uh, last thing, I would now ask uh, uh, Minister As also to join us on this virtual panel so that we can take uh, a group picture with uh, the team of board, the, the three of us. Uh, just, okay, the Minister is there, I'm there, the Commissioner is there. So uh, a big smile, which needs to be prolonged because we need to take a, a screenshot. Okay, thank you very much. I think I've given enough time to the colleagues to uh, take the picture. Uh, thank you very much for uh, the participation to you, to the minister, and uh, uh, to all those uh, who uh, joined us uh, uh, today. Uh, I would like to conclude by reminding all of you that the PNAL report is uh, available online. And uh, uh, finally, uh, for those of you who want to hear more about road safety, uh, we will uh, have another webinar on uh, traffic safety and uh, mobility education on the Tuesday 23rd of June from 11 to 12.30. That will be on education in the framework of the LEARN project. Those who can are very much welcome to join by going on the website. Thank you very much to everybody. Hope to see you soon in person. In the meantime, keep well and thanks for joining. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. -bye.